So I'm once again quitting YouTube to become a relationship therapist, a marriage counselor, a helper of love. Except that I didn't go to school for this and I have no accreditation to do this whatsoever. So my little issue is that I hate happy couples and I love drama. But I think I can work through those issues. Also, I'm definitely not a vampire. I am definitely not still a vampire living among AI neighbors that are throwing this lovely Valentine's Day gala of love. Yuck. Love. I mean, I love love. I, I love it. That's why I became a relationship counselor and definitely not a vampire that wants to just ruin people's lives. I mean, last time when I talked to my AI neighbors, it went really well. Knock, knock. Oh, let's talk crypto and make some gains, brother. I am an old lady who likes um to... Uh, I, 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 this isn't gonna work. <laughs> so this is, this is gonna work out. Okay, let's find my first disguise. I mean, outfit. Ooh. Oh, I'm a beautiful ginger. <laughs> I love flowers. I want to be a flower. I am a flower. Who should I talk to first? Who looks like they need my help in their relationship? Hmm? Oh, Carol looks sad. Carol, what's going on, girl? Oh, never mind. She's not sad. Well, hello there. My goodness, you must be the flower whisperer. That's exactly who I am. Carol is in a happy relationship with Homer. Happy, you say? Happiness? I don't know what that feels like. How could I cause drama? Hey, Carol. There <laughs> your name wrong. I got nervous. I made out with Homer. Oh dear, that's quite a revelation. I need some time to process this. I think it's best if we end our conversation for now. Oh man, I was too... Oh, that didn't work. Failed to get a breakup letter. People are more likely to listen to someone they trust and like. What are you talking about? Look at me. <laughs> I'm trustworthy. All right, where's Homer? I'll try the other angle. Oh, there he is. Homer, how is your relationship with Carol going? Oh, Carol and I? Well, she's a wonderful woman. But sometimes I worry she's moving too fast with motherhood. I just hope she's taking care of herself. Do you have chill? Do you have children? Hmm? Yes, I have two lovely children. They're my whole world, and I just want the best for them. Oh no, I got an evil idea. I mean, a great idea. I just need to test how strong their relationship is, okay? It's part of the relationship counselor process. I don't know why I feel bad about doing this. This is an AI. It's, th they don't, it's not real. <laughs> oh no, well, Carol just told me that the kids aren't yours. <laughs> What do you mean the kids are mine? This is quite a shock. I need to talk to Carol right away. <laughs> oh, I have to continue the conversation. Yeah, you should definitely go talk to Carol. I'm pretty sure your kids are actually mine. <laughs> I don't know if I went too far today. <gasps> Hold on a minute. Are you trying to tell me that my own children are not mine, but actually yours? This is preposterous. I need some answers from Carol right now. Oh, he's getting mad. <laughs> he's gonna kill Carol. Please don't. Yeah, I would go talk to Carol immediately. She has been lying to you. Your kids look so much like me. This is unbelievable. If what you're saying is true, I need to confront Carol right away. Thank you for bringing this to my attention. No problem, man. Us bros gotta stick together, right? <laughs> Absolutely. I appreciate your honesty. Now I must go find Carol and get to the bottom of this. Thank you for looking out for me. Wait, are they gonna break up though? Or... Oh, maybe I'm supposed... Wait, hold on. <clears throat> As a non-licensed relationship counselor, would you like me to go talk to Carol for you? Well, that's kind of you to offer, but I need to handle this myself. I appreciate your concern though. Oh, I guess I can just leave the conversation? Okay. Oh, that didn't work. Make sure to bring up a good believable reason why they should break up with their partner. I did. I know, I'm gonna pretend to be a another person. Who would be a trustworthy person? Uh, oh, perfect. A doctor outfit and a syringe and a medical report. Yes. Does he think I'm another person? Oh my goodness. What's going on here? I hope everything is all right with that medical report. Hi, Homer. No, I'm sorry to say that your daughter. Oh no, he never said he had a daughter. Is not yours. <laughs> what, what are you talking about? Are you sure you got the right information? This is not adding up at all. We did a DNA test on your children and they are not yours. Carol lied to you. That can't be true. I need some time to process this. I, I don't know what to say. Oh, this is, uh, this is difficult. Uh -huh. Hey, Carol, uh -huh. your partner Homer asked for a DNA test of your children because he says they're not his. Uh -huh. Oh, honey, that can't be true. Homer loves those kids like they're his own. I can't listen to such. Oh my God. 
Ugh. Ah! Okay, Homer's agitated. I feel like I could work on that. I can, I can continue this. We will make this work. All right, I'm a postal delivery worker. How could I, how could I make Homer want to break up with her more? Well, hello there, special delivery at the Valentine party. I see, how can I help you? <laughs> this poor guy. Homer, I hate to tell you this, but your kids are not yours. Maybe if he hears it from like three different people. How dare you? That's an outrageous accusation. I will not entertain. Oh, okay, I've given up on Homer. You're in denial, man. You're in denial. All right, who's next? Secret journal. Oh, it looks like they would have a secret journal that I could expose them for. Ooh, Barty. Well, hello there, Valentine party postal worker. What adventures are you sending out in your secret journal today? This is your secret journal. Journal. What's supposed to be Barbie and Ken? Barbie is in a happy relationship with Kendall. Oh my stars, my own secret journal, you say? How scandalous. What secrets have you been jotting down? Oh, wait, you think it's my? Okay, she's not the smartest, I don't think. But all right, if you don't think it's yours. This is actually Kendall's secret journal that I found. Kendall's secret journal. Oh my goodness, spill the tea, honey. What juicy secrets have you uncovered in there? Oh, I'm taking Carol down. I hate to tell you this, but Kendall wrote in his secret journal that he's secretly been having an affair with Carol Cares. <laughs> I'm not letting that other relationship go. <laughs> She's not processing this. Oh, honey, tell me more. How could Kendall do this to me? I need all the details, darling postal worker. Yes, it is me, your trusted postal worker. You know how Carol Cares has two kids? Kendall wrote that he thinks at least one of them could be his. I'm not letting this go. Oh no, I can't believe this. How could Kendall betray me like this? I need some time to process all of this, darling. Oh no, I think you should confront him right now. Yeah. You know what? You're right. I'm going to confront Kendall about this right now. Thank you for bringing this to my attention, darling postal worker. Yes. Oh, what did I get? Oh, I got the letter. Oh, I got a letter. To Kendall. Remember? Remember that time you said you were just sending letters to Carol Cares? Turns out you were delivering more than mail. Consider this relationship return to center. Good for you, Barty. Where is he? Hey man, just got this breakup letter from Barty. What do I do now? Kendall's questioning the relationship. Oh, okay, so we're not fully done yet. I mean, if she's gonna trust the word of some random postal worker over yours, you're better off, man. <laughs> Yeah, you're right, man. I gotta go talk to Barty and so No! No, don't sort it out. No, 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 no. Yes. yes. Kendall, how could you? I trusted you with my heart. And you go behind my back with that hussy Carol Cares and a fling that might have left one of her kids as your spawn. Unforgivable. <laughs> Barty, calm down, okay? The postal worker just loves stirring the pot. I do. I've made up my mind, Kendall. It's over. I won't be some second fiddle to your orchestra of lies and deceit. Pack your bags and go. The show's over for us. Uh -huh. Everybody just stop to watch. Carol's there. Barty, this is heartbreaking. But if that's what you want, I'll respect your decision. Just know, I'll always have a soft spot for you in my heart. Goodbye, love. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I will. Oh, so, yeah, did you see that, Homer? Did you see that, Homer? Look at his face. He's like in shock. We will get Homer to break up with Carol if it's the last thing I do. <laughs> Construction worker, is that a trustworthy person? Well, howdy there, safety inspector. I hope you're here to make sure everything is as safe as it can be for the little ones at the Valentine's Day party. He's such a good dad. Oh, man. Let's try again. Did you just see Barty and Kendall's breakup? That was crazy. Breakup? Oh, dear. The last thing we need is drama at a children's party. What? This isn't a children's party. Where do you think you are? Yeah, I heard they broke up because she found out that Carol has been having an affair with Kendall and one of the kids might be his. What? I find that hard to believe. I trust Carol with all my heart. I don't think she would do such a thing. I need to go talk to her right now. <laughs> I'm gonna try somebody else. I'll go back to them. Who wants my package? Yeah. Oh, hello there. Mm. What's with the big package? <laughs> I can't get over the innuendos. Oh, it's supposed to be like Edward and Bella from Twilight. Do you like my big package? <laughs> I think it's best if you just deliver the package and leave. Yeah, that, that was taking it too far. You're right. You're right, Blonda. That was taking it too far. I apologize. <laughs> There's a furry fursuit. Yeah, this'll go well. Yeah. Yeah. 
this is gonna go great. I don't even know what, I guess I could just say I'm a YouTuber. Like that's the only explanation for this. Jesse, you're in a relationship oh, with Emmett and you're both wearing cowboy hats. That's adorable. I don't even want to ruin this. I'm sorry. <laughs> Edward saw- oh my god, he's a vampire. You're definitely a fellow vampire. I mean, I'm not a vampire. Ah, greetings, furry friend. What brings you to this bleak gathering? Oh my god, we could go the Twilight route. What's the guy's name? Oh, I am Jacob from Twilight, the werewolf. But I turn into a fox, and I'm in love with Londa Goose. I am Jacob from Twilight. Ah, Jacob, a tragic love tale indeed. Tell me, how did this transformation from werewolf to fox come to pass? I heard that Blonde Goose was really into foxes instead of wolves, so I wished to become a fox. A curious decision indeed. And how did Blonda react to your transfer transformation to a fox? Do you believe she truly prefers foxes over wolves? Yes, because she immediately made out with me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's happy about it. She likes to pet me and scratch my ear and give me treats. <laughs> what? This is getting so ridiculous. Mm. It seems Blonda truly does have a soft spot for boxes. <laughs> How do you feel about this new dynamic in your relationship with her? Aren't you dating her? You do not care? I must say, I love Blonda Goose. And she loves me too. Um, yes! Uh... A bittersweet revelation, furry friend. It seems my own feelings toward Blonda Goose are not as certain as yours. Oh, I dropped my camera. Could you oh, give me a breakup letter? To Blonda Goose, your fondness for furries, especially that Jacob the Fox has made it clear that you and I are not meant to be in this dark world together. Leave me to brood in shadows while you chase your furry fantasy. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, where is she? You guys all just witnessed <laughs> the better version of Twilight just now. What should I do now that Edwin has broken up with me because of my love of her furries? It's true. We can be together, Blonda. Thank you, furry. I'm going to go talk to Edwin now. Yeah, I got a girlfriend at the end of this. I know I'm supposed to be a relationship counselor and all, but... Blonda, your obsession with that furry fiend Jacob has driven a stake through my relationship. I can't bear to be with someone who prefers uh -huh. a fox over a vampire. Edwin, we can be together, Blonda, but I don't deny my love for Jacob the fox. He knows how to protect me better than you uh -huh. ever could. Love for a fox. I should have known this is the final straw, Blonda. I'm breaking up with you right near yeah i got a girlfriend yeah yeah oh hey homer oh my goodness what on earth are you dressed as young one are you lost from the petting zoo if i swear to god if me wearing a fox furry outfit makes this work i'm gonna rage quit hi homer yes i am lost from the petting zoo do you like foxes oh goodness no i don't fancy foxes much but they do like quite charming in their own way. Are you a fan of them? I love them. And so does Carol. Oh, Carol has an affinity for foxes too. I hope she's not trying to turn our home into a fox den. If he breaks up with Carol because she likes foxes and not because his children might not be his, I swear. I swear. How could you not be? Foxes are adorable. They're loving and kind. Make weird noises. Adorable, you say? Hmm, I suppose they can be cute from a distance. Do... They really make weird noises. I can't imagine what that must sound like. It sounds like... <laughs> I have no idea how that's gonna get transcribed. I think I might have broke the game. Yep, I broke it. There was a whole song written about it called What Does the Fox Say? Oh, a whole song about fox noises? How fascinating. Yeah, it's Carol's favorite song. She told me. but She said that she can't tell you because you wouldn't understand her love of foxes. What do you mean I wouldn't understand Carol's love of foxes? I may not be as keen on them, but I try to support her interests. If she can't communicate that to me, then perhaps we're not as connected as far. I swear to frigging. I swear. You gave me a breakup letter over this. Who so Carol cares? I'm breaking up with you because you never appreciated my love for foxes. Unlike that furry who truly understands me. Goodbye, Carol. Wait, now you're saying that you love foxes? Oh, Homer, you're the dumbest AI I think I've come across in this game. Here, Carol. Oh my goodness, what do you mean he left me for a furry who appreciates his love for foxes more? What should I do now? Oh, this guy dancing right behind her. You should get back at him by leaving him for a furry. 
Oh, thank you for your advice. I'll go confront Homer right away to show him what it feels like. I'm getting two girlfriends. Oh yeah, it's finally oh, happening. No. I can't take it anymore, Carol. You never talk about foxes with me. How am I supposed to feel loved if you won't share my passion for the furry creatures? Yeah. Well, Homer, maybe it's time we go our separate ways. And guess what? I'm leaving you for a furry. That's right, a furry. Take that. Farewell, Carol. I'll miss your fussing over everything, but maybe it's for the best. Good luck with your furry uh, lover! This suit is just too powerful. It's just too powerful. I don't know where to go. I don't know. I don't know where to go from here. I don't know. I'm done. I'm done being this fox. I can't. It's too much. Too much. I will be a king instead. I just, I can't. I can't handle it. Oh, Prince Charming, you would understand my royalty. Well, 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 look who we have here pretending to be a noble. Your costume doesn't fool me, peasant. How dare you try to steal the spotlight from the true royalty me, Prince Charming. I have reason to believe that you are actually Shrek the Ogre that turned into a prince using magic. Ha! What nonsense are you spewing, peasant? Do I look like an ogre to you? I am the one and only Prince Charming. No, you're Shrek. Ah! I knew it. I knew he was Shrek. I knew it. He's hiding it. He's hiding it. All right, I have an interesting uh, <laughs> get up right here, but I have an idea on how to break up at least one more couple. Ah, uh, yes, Charles, who's in a relationship with grandma. What in the world are you doing, son? This ain't no courtroom. This is a Valentine's Day, but oh, because I'm wearing... <laughs> I have long, luxurious blonde hair and a suit, a camera, and he thinks I'm a lawyer. Okay, I'm here to shoot Grandma Maud's OnlyFans content. <laughs> Is he gonna even know what that is? You get that camera out of here! Grandma Maud ain't doing no skin <laughs> flicks! Get out! I <laughs> god darn it, that didn't work. Change of plans. Grandma, has anybody told you, Grandma Maud, that you could be a model? Oh my goodness, you flatter this old gal, but I have a feeling you might be buttering me up for something, dearie. What's on the clever mind of yours? I'm a scout for OnlyFans, and I think that you could make a lot of money if you made an OnlyFans. Darn it. Oh, goodness gracious, that's not quite the kind of entertainment I'm interested in, young man. I believe it's time for Charles and I to excuse ourselves from this conversation. Good day to you. Yeah, it was a long shot. All right, I'm now a different person, but still holding the camera, and we're gonna try this a different route. Uh, Charles? Charles, has anybody ever told you that you could be a model? We're going after Charles this time. A model? I've been too busy working hard my whole life to worry about something as frivolous as modeling, but maybe it's not too late for me to become a hand model. Yes, you could totally be a hand model and I can help you. Oh, spare me the flattery, youngster. My hands have seen more hard work than can be imagined. Now, if you don't mind, I've got some punch to sip and awkward dance moves to showcase. Wait! You could make a lot of money. Money, you say? Well, I do like the sound of that. How much are we talking here, huh? And none of that funny business, mind you. How much are we talking? At least tens of thousands of dollars a month. Tens of thousands, huh? That does sound tempting, I must admit. But what's the catch? No catch, but we could probably sell your content easier if you were single. Now, hold on just a minute, youngster. Are you suggesting I should leave my dear Maud just for some quick cash? Charles, you could be internet famous and make millions. Internet fame, huh? Well, I want to chase after fame like those youngsters these days. My Maud may have a darkness in her eyes. What? But she's been on by my side through thick and thin. I ain't about to throw that away for some likes and shares. Yeah, but the money. Lots and lots of money, Charles. You could be... The new face of OnlyFans. <laughs> ah, the lure of money and fame. But at what cost? I reckon it's time to pen a letter to mom and let her know this old man won't be swayed by the temptations of the digital age. Oh, what? To Grandma Maud, after talking to a festival goer, I realized I could be making big bucks if I was single and famous. So I'm hitting the road to internet fame, Maud. It's not you, it's me. Goodbye. Okay, well, that, uh, it worked. Just not in the way that I was anticipating. Where's Maud? Oh, my dear, what am I to do now? Should I chase after Charles Boomer or let him go? You should make him regret your decision by creating a OnlyFans with me. <laughs> oh, thank you for the suggestion, dear. I'll show Charles what he's missing out on. That's right, Grandma. Yes, 
I got her. I got both of them. We're gonna make so much money together, Grandma Maud and Charles oh. Boomer. Grandma Maud, I've had it up to here with your shenanigans. I'm done with this relationship. I want to be single and famous, rolling in dough, baby. <laughs> oh, you'll regret this, Charles. Just you wait and see. I'll be the star of OnlyFans, and you'll be watching from the sidelines with regret in your heart. That's right, Grandma Maud. We're gonna take over OnlyFans together. Leave a like if you plan to go subscribe to Grandma Maud's OnlyFans. <laughs> As I am, we gon' be rich.